Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Castle Girl. Castle Sween is situated on a low rocky ridge on the eastern shore of Loch Sween in Knapdale. It sits on the narrow entrance into the loch and was strategically built to protect access. The southwest of the castle looks out over the loch to the Isles of Isla and Jura. The ruins of Castle Sween are thought to be that of the oldest stone castle in Scotland. The first castle is thought to have been built in the late 12th century by a local lord of Irish descent, Sven the Red. He was an ancestor of the McSweens, where the castle takes its name from. That was during a time when Argyll lay out with the Kingdom of Scotland. Sween was an enclosure castle and its curtain wall was about 2 metres thick and around 8 metres high. This surrounded a quadrangular courtyard, but was built upon and altered over the next 500 years. The wide buttresses on the outside walls and the omission of windows and openings apart from the main entrance allows us to date the ruins to the 1100s. Argyll was an area fought over between the King of Scots and the Norwegian King. The Earl of Monteith was granted ownership of the castle by the Royal Stuarts. This was to replace the McSweens as the Lords of Knapdale. It was in 1266 that Argyll was eventually given up by King Magnus of Norway to the Scots. John McSween tried but failed to recapture the castle again and their Scottish lands in the early 1300s. McSween was backed by Edward III of England in an attempt to oust John Monteith. It was around this time that a new three-storey tower house was built. In the late 14th century, the castle was granted to the Macdonald clan and the Lord of the Isles, John Macdonald, by Robert II of Scotland, after John Monteith died. There were several keepers of the castle during this time, including McNeils and Macmillans. In the latter part of the 15th century, James III of Scotland, who was untrusting of the Macdonalds, granted the castle to the Campbells, first Earl of Argyll. In 1647, during the Wars of the Three Kingdoms, Sir Alexander MacDonald slighted and destroyed the castle. Nowadays, the castle is in the care of Historic Scotland. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!